Fairy so much. Thanks to him, I was able to get my magical powers back. But if Theodore hadn't made it in time to pick us up on his flying ship, we wouldn't have been able to escape. We would have stayed on the dark side. Look, Ferador! I think that's a suitable landing stop straight ahead. Is anybody here?
You disappeared years ago. Where would I have gone? I was with you this whole time, dear. How are you feeling, Alice? You hit your head so hard. My heart stopped when you fell off that horse. I barely remember anything. And then that dream. You were unconscious for two days. I was so worried, dear. But the doctor warned that after you wake up, you may have memory problems. Mom, I had a dream and it felt so real. I feel like I'm still there with my friends, escaping from the dark forces. In my dream, I found a box where I discovered a strange stone. The stone gave me the power of fire. But in getting that magical power, I was also chased by misfortune and danger. My father, some armed strangers broke into our house and killed him. In tears, I ran to find your brother, Uncle Colin. He helped me. Together, we fought the darkness and its soldiers until he fell under the spell of the dark forces. The last thing I remember is how I, along with my newfound friends, Ray and Ferridor, escaped the dark side. Dear, it was only a dream. Your father is long gone, it's true. But he wasn't killed. One day, he just disappeared. But you were too young to remember it. You just can't imagine how real that dream was. Why don't you tell me the whole story while we're on our way? Here's the key to the front door. Get the horse ready and I'll pack necessary things. <laughs> <laughs> 